Hi, everyone. Microsoft has unveiled Windows 11, its next generation operating system, at a virtual event. According to BBC News Technology Reporter, the new software will let Android apps run on the Windows desktop. Product manager Panos Panay promised smaller, faster security updates a common complaint for Windows users and said they would happen in the background. Windows 11 will also let users configure multiple desktops for work, home, and gaming, like on a Mac. Microsoft says there are currently about 1.3 billion devices running Windows 10. An early preview version of the next version will be released for app developers next week. Windows 11 will be available as a free update to existing Windows 10 users, although some devices will not have the right specifications. These include a minimum of 64 gigabytes of storage and 4 gigabytes of RAM. One cosmetic change is putting the start button at the bottom center of the screen rather than left-hand side. In addition, Windows 11 will feature tighter integration with Microsoft's communications platform teams. Xbox Games Pass, a subscription service offering access to hundreds of games, will also be pre-installed. The tech giant said it would share more profits from its app store with creators and developers as rival Apple continues to face challenges over its business model. When Windows 10 launched in 2015, Microsoft said it would be the final version of the operating system. It has since announced Windows 10 will be retired in 2025. Microsoft Chief Executive Satya Nadella described the launch as a major milestone in the history of Windows, but analyst Jeff Blaber from CCS Insights said he did not consider it to be a revolutionary step. Windows 11 is an iterative release that pinpoints where Windows needs greater ambition rather than introducing the sweeping changes seen with its predecessor, he said. The end game for Microsoft is ensuring that the step up from Windows 10 to Windows 11 provides significant enough improvements to offset any complaints. Forrester's principal analyst J.P. Gounder noted that the new operating system was based on the code of Windows 10, which should prevent upgrade glitches such as those seen in the past with Windows Vista. These user-friendly nods to the past are a double-edged sword, though, he added. They're great for continuity of experience, but they make you wonder what the 11 really stands for. If you guys find this interesting, please like and share and don't hesitate to subscribe to this channel for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and see you later. Bye-bye. taskbar, the start menu with pinned apps and recommendations. We also look at changes to File Explorer, widgets, and window snapping. Even though we are still waiting for Microsoft to announce the next generation of Windows, the Windows 11 preview brings a redesigned start menu, action center, file explorer and taskbar along with a modern look and new features. The start menu in Windows 11 has been pared down a bit.
It is now centered, including the taskbar icons, and aesthetically looks similar to the now-canceled Windows 10X. There are no more classic live, live tiles, but there are still pinnable apps. It also includes a new startup sound and a new widgets. But under the hood, Windows 11 shares the same DNA as Windows 10 and Windows 8. For now though, it must be noted that all the features as part of the leaked Windows 11 build are part of an early version of the upcoming operating system. The big question will be whether Microsoft has innovated enough to make the OS relevant again now that more and more users spend time in their browsers. In this overview, find out about the best inbox apps that come for free with Windows 11. Power Automate Desktop has been added as a new inbox app, which allows you to automate manual tasks. Paint 3D and OneNote have been removed. Aside from those, many old favorites have returned, including the Office app, Mail, Calendar, To Do, and many others. We'll walk through all the various apps that you'll get for free once Windows 11 becomes available. guys find this interesting, please like and share and don't hesitate to subscribe to this channel for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and see you later. Bye bye.